Today we show you how you can create a basic wind material function in the Unreal Engine 4. So basically a material function is a little custom node that can be saved and reused in other materials. And now we will create something like that. First of all direct it into your content browser, then go to material and choose material function. Now type in a name, for example wind effect and then do a double click onto it. Now in here we have to create our wind effect. So therefore I will just add a sign node then a panel node, then of course a multiply, and that's it. Now we'll just connect the panel with the sign, the sign with the A will multiply, and the multiply with output result. Now here at B we want to control the power of our wind, so therefore we need a material function input, because we want to control it in our material. So just type in function, and then add a function input, and connect it with the B will multiply. Now in the function input node, you can choose the input type and of course the input name. So the input name I will just type in power and the input type I will choose function input vector 2. Of course you can choose texture or static bool or so on, but I will choose the function input 2 vector now. Now preview I will just connect the constant 2 vector. And that's it, now we have created the basic material function for wind effect. Now down here at the properties, under the material function, you can choose a description of the node, so for example, this will create a wind effect. Oops, this will create a wind effect. And at exposed to library, you can add it to the material library. So to where is it? So to this part here of the material editor. Then you can just drag and drop it from this part here into your material. So therefore I will just check the expose to library and down here at the library category you can choose which category the material function should be. So for example we can type in test underscore wind underscore cat. Okay now just press apply and then we can try it out. Now up here you just have to type in wind so the name of your material function and as you can see up here test wind cat and wind effect. Now just drag and drop into your material editor and you can already see here, here is our vector2 input and here is the result input. So let's go back into the material function and now we can see it. Here is the result output and here is the input for the vector2. So we just connect the result here with the work position offset and down here power we just connect the constant2 vector. Now we type in for example a value from 5 and 10 and then we have to wait a little bit. And you can already see here, it hasn't worked. Because in the material function, under the panel node, we have to add the speed at speed x and speed y. So just type in 0.5 and for example 0.4. Click on to apply again. And then you can already see here, it moves in the wind. And with the vector 2 pattern, we can control the power of the wind. So for example, when we type in 1 and 0.5, you can see that it won't be so strong anymore. So for example I will just type in 5 and 4 and then we can try it out. Apply, then we will get a 3. And I will assign the material to the tree. And now you can see here it moves in the wind with our material function. And as I said, you can use this material function now in every material. So for example, when I scroll down a little bit and when I go into oh, there's a new material. For example, when I create a new material and then I type in wind, then you can already see here the wind effect is still here. And with that you can save a lot of time and you can reuse custom nodes in every material. And for example you can use it in a in a water material for the waves and so on. So I would recommend you to use material function because you can save a lot of time and it won't get so complex the material. So yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.